Let's take chapter 13, King James Version. And the word of the Almighty to I came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of thy own hearts, Yea, ye the word of the Almighty to I. Thou said the Almighty to I, God, who unto the foolish prophet that follow thy own spirit, and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the age for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Almighty Toy. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Almighty Toy said, and the Almighty Toy has not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they will confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination, whereas ye say, the Almighty Toy said it, albeit I have not spoken? Therefore thus said the Almighty Toy God, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you, said the Almighty Toy God, and mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies they shall not be in the assembly of my people neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of israel neither shall they enter into the land of israel and ye shall know that i am the almighty to I. because even because they have seduced my people saying peace and there was no peace and one built up a wall and lo others dubbed it with untempered mortar say unto them which dubbed it with untempered mortar that it shall fall there shall be an overflowing shower and ye o great hailstone shall fall and a stormy wind shall rent it Lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the dubbing whereof ye have dubbed it? Therefore thus said the Almighty to a God, I will even rent it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger, and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So will I break down the wall that ye have dubbed with untempered mortar and bring it down to the ground so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered and it shall fall and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof and ye shall know that I am the Almighty to I. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that have dubbed it with untempered mortar, and will say unto you, The wall is no more, neither they that dubbed it. To wit, the prophets of Israel which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace for her. And there is no peace, said the Almighty Toy. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesies out of their own heart, and prophesies thou against them. And say, Thou said the Almighty Toy God, woe to the women that so pillows to all armholes and make kerchiefs upon the head of every statue to horn souls will ye horn the souls of my people and will ye save the souls alive that come unto you and will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that 
should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that hear your lies wherefore thus said the almighty to our god behold i am against your pillows for if ye there on the souls to make them fly and i will tear them from your arms and will let the souls go even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly your kerchiefs also will i tear and deliver my people out of your hand and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted and ye shall know that i am the almighty toy because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad whom i have not made sad and strengthen the hands of the wicked that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life therefore ye shall see no more vanity nor divine divinations for i will deliver my people out of your hand and ye shall know that I am the Amati Tawahid.